And so I feel that you're also uncomfortable with me loving myself as much as no, I do. No, no. And Eric I can definitely hurt. afford you financially. So my confidence is triggering you, but maybe not emotionally. I can tell that you're triggered and that's okay. I know you need therapy. Okay. Your feelings are valid. <laughs> Have you had therapy before? You can't teach me anything. Oh, it sounds like self-love is something that's challenging for you. So you only and like me because I'm beautiful is a direct trigger that you can't handle what I'm saying to you. Those of you who don't know, me and my mom have a good relationship now, but it's been tumultuous, but it's taken a lot of work. And I'm so proud of her for her openness and I'm proud of myself for being forgiving. So you popped your balloon before you even got to know me based on what Can you've already seen, please. Why do you want to argue with me? Hey! <laughs> Yes! My girl! Yes! That's what I'm saying! <laughs> He's back! <laughs> Ooh! <laughs> All right! How I was feeling right after the show. Livid. Livid. My community, I'm telling you, I was livid. Because they basically suppressed my wants. And they made it about them. I felt unseen. I felt used. I felt objectified. Everyone wanted us to check out this weirdo who apparently was on the balloon popping show. Uh, but he was actually there as a contestant. So, the the tall black guy who's a, who's a, supposedly a doctor um, is the one that we need to check out. <clears throat> Guys, a quick disclaimer: uh, he almost never pops his balloon, and he ends up talking to every girl. So we're just gonna skip to his parts because I'm not gonna watch a full one hour movie. Hi, my name is Dr. Elam, and I am 38 years old. Okay, and Dr. Elam, why did you end up popping your balloon? I pop my balloon not because you're not gorgeous, but for me. It was the weight loss. And while we are all proud of you for losing the weight, I am considering the risk long term. You may have health problems down the line that we may have to work with. Tell me your name again. It's Jessica. Jessica. So I do run a nonprofit. Maybe there's an opportunity for us to work together. I'm a dentist and my hands are actually insured. So yeah. I may not be able to date you, but I would hire you. Oh. He's looking for. He's looking for employees. He's not looking for the... What, what is this constant... Why, why is he on a dating show talking about I can hire you? This is weird. Is it not? She was not looking for no job. She didn't ask about no employment. And he's constantly offering people. I think that's going to be his MO. And to be honest with you, my dude, I think it really... that That's a way that some people assert dominance. I can applaud some of your services. They talking shit. What kind of work is we going to be doing? <laughs> Helping to save the world, I hope. Isn't that what your non <laughs> Exactly. No, he's just off. He's no, just no, off. That, that, that is a, an off person. No, it's not. You have no idea what her qualifications is, what her competence is, but you have worked with her through like your, your foundation. Doing what? How do you even know she's even competent for it? No, you're a weirdo. My name is Dr. Elam. I'm 38 years old. And I popped my balloon after listening to you. Okay, damn. Okay. I think humility and integrity is something that takes a lot of work to acquire, mm -hmm. and it doesn't seem like you've done that work yet. No? Okay. <laughs> Have you had therapy before? No. You want to be my therapist? If you need one. I do. Okay. Okay. I charge by the hour. <laughs> sure. Stop the bad day off. No, 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 no. Yo, this no, might no. be the most arrogant dentist no, no, I've no, ever no, met. No, 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 no. Wait, is I, it normal for dent? No, wait, wait. No, no. I, I actually forgot. Is it normal for dentists to call themselves doctors? Well, it's normal, but it's not really respected, to be honest with you. People don't really like. The people are like, whenever there's a situation in the plane, and people are like, "Is there a doctor in the place?" Me, I'm a dentist. Shut the fuck up. That's not. How I, I'm, not I'm not talking to you. Okay, sure. So you think I need therapy? I know you need therapy. Okay. I think we all need therapy, Shit. but it takes a certain okay. level of humility to admit it. And if you can't admit it, then well, you definitely need therapy. Okay. Okay. Sure. And, and why do you think she needs? I know you said everyone needs it, mm -hmm. but why are you telling her specifically that you think she needs it? Well, I think we're all giving a bit of constructive criticism, and it seems like you're taking it harshly, which means you have a level of insecurity that okay. needs to be talked with a third party. Okay. I think you're too into that because I don't need therapy. I'm fine. I'm not insecure. I'm very secure with myself, but that's your opinion, and it's okay. Mm -hmm. Thank you for proving my point. Yeah. <laughs> I feel like sometimes men, like when you're too confident, they think like it's a problem for them. And it's, it's fine. okay to be insecure. But it's I'm not. Okay. So you don't know me. You just see me two seconds Look, ago. Insecurity is something we all struggle with. Okay. And the fact that you can't admit that means that you haven't been able to 
work past it. Okay. And you're already proving to me that it's going to take work to communicate with you because you're not listening to me. Okay, doctor, you got a card? I'll call you after the show and you can give me a session. You can take my Instagram. Sure. And I... Did I mention I was a doctor or you just called I, me that? Said, I feel like okay, you said okay. doctor. Yeah, yeah. Yo, get the fuck out of here, bro. Take your shit. Get the fuck out of here. You're bizarre. Bro. Yo, get the fuck out of here, bro. You. <laughs> what, what are the words? Yo, get the fuck. Get my man out of here. <laughs> I'm, I, I, his response was. I need a support system, sorry. Okay. And now, as far as doctor here, <laughs> yeah. is he someone that you would approach? Is he your type in any way? I mean, yeah, he's good looking too. He's tall, I like that, dark skin, sure. And I can definitely good. afford you. It's not your time to talk. You did all that talking. Now it's time for you to shut the fuck up and let her, I'm sorry. Yeah, the therapist needs to shut the fuck up. Yeah, and the patient speak. <laughs> Thank you. Imagine you go to a therapist and then, <laughs> imagine go to a therapist. So how, did, how did you feel? Like I'm that? an enlightened person how, how and did, I have done mm -hmm. the work. That's something you haven't done. I can tell you're insecure. Don't answer. Don't answer. What are, you, what are your thoughts? I'll tell you what you're thinking. Something is wrong with you and you can't see it. Here's a mirror. Can you look at your reflection? Just kidding. Let me turn that around. <laughs> Now let me look at myself. Like that's really what's yes. happening. See your type in any way. I mean, yeah, he's good looking too. He's tall, I like that, dark skin, sure. And I can good. definitely afford you financially, but maybe not emotionally. Oh my god! <laughs> He's, uh, she he's off. She did, he's off. I, I he's what the fuck off. is happening? Yo, she dizzily. I'm sorry. Cause I tried. <laughs> Who? Oh but it's okay. That's fine. I can handle I can. you. I just have to make the decision if it's worth my time to do that. Okay, that's fine. All right. Like it's all love. <laughs> just being honest with you. This dude is exactly like Turtle Dude, but a Turtle Dude that went to school. It's just that. No. This this person has a God complex. I don't think yes. they're like a, somebody who would physically beat you, but it is somebody who would completely disregard you for the most yeah. part. Yeah. Yeah. And you can see, like, the way he talks to people. is like talking down to them constantly, interrupting them in the middle of their yeah. sentence to let them know about stuff, to, li again, belittle them. Like he, he likes to take control, but a very uh, manipulative way. Yeah. yeah. Every opportunity is to put her down and to put himself higher. You haven't done the work that I've done. I can afford you financially, but, but I don't, don't think it's worth my, my time because yeah. my time is valuable. It's just, that's a constant thing. I have a foundation, you need to work for me. You see how there's always that same level? My name is Dr. Elam, I'm 38 years old. Okay. And I pop my balloon just because you're simply too young. If I were to bring you into my life, mm -hmm. you would be a liability. I mean, I don't even know what to ask you because you don't like me, I'm too young. It's not, it's... It... I mean, if you change your mind, I'm open to it though. Why would you be open to it? Because you're handsome for sure. one. So you only like and... me because I'm beautiful. Just like I'm beautiful. Yeah, but that's not why I would only like you. So why would you like me? Because you didn't answer that. Because you can bring something and add something to my mm -hmm. life. But because you're a liability, you right. can't add anything to my life. Right. You would be a liability to everything in so my life. So what can I not add to your life? What, what is that? You can't teach me anything. Uh -huh. You can't help me with my finances mm -hmm. in any way. You can't add any intellectual anything into my life. Properties. Good luck with the other girls back there. You're messing up. Oh, next. Oh. And I can tell that you're triggered and that's okay. I'm not triggered, sweetheart. You we are can, you are we, very we, handsome. We can but, work we can work through this together. You Please said put I your can't hands bring down. you anything. So it's like what was we right. there's no need to talk. You can't I just bring said, anything right you're now. You're left with the other girl. Say okay, and this is why your immaturity will mm. prevent you from Okay. This dude I feel like he just purposefully doesn't pop his balloons for a while just so he can spend a long time lecturing these women. Yes. Like these are long-winded answers. Nobody's asking for development too. Holy shit. It's like for someone that is not interested, you do talk a lot with them. Yeah. This is like when you're walking down the street, one of the Jehovah's Witness roll up on you. Do you need salvation? No. no. Let me talk. And they just start re rambling and you're just trying to walk away. Your immaturity will prevent you from being with a real man. No, I've dealt with real men Because you're not before. listening to me and you're trying to talk over Go me. Go ahead, I'm listening. Adults have conversations. I'm listening. Well, Conversations require some form of consent. Conversation requires some form of reciprocity. You're not having a conversation if one person doesn't want to talk and then you do. 
Just say you want to talk to somebody and not have them speak back to you. Just say that. Okay. So if we were to get together, you would be asking me questions like, Dr. Elam, what did you do to acquire everything that you acquired? What did you do to learn everything that you learned? What type of habits and skills do you have that can help me get to where I want to get? Mm -hmm. You have two Airbnb properties. Mm -hmm. How can we get to four? How can we get to eight? I already know how to do that. My dad. That's how I got it. Next contestant, please. Please. Good Lord, this guy. <laughs> All right. Okay, so this guy did a interview, apparently. My name is Dr. Elam, and you may know me from- His place looks exactly what I would think some yeah. sociopath's his, place would look his like. His bed is in the shape of a heart, and there's mirrors on the ceiling. Yes, and this is where he brings his new hires for their foundation. <laughs> <laughs> I already can tell this dude's a slime ball. And so this YouTube is an opportunity for me to reach out to my community, to share my life and share who I am and to get some feedback. I'm not ignorant to the idea that I may be a little bit condescending and a little bit of a know-it-all because I've been through all the school and I've done all the therapy and I've had a lot of experiences. I, I just thought there might be some humility coming and then he goes on to just brag right away. I did everything. But I'm gonna share it with you. And as we go through this journey, hopefully you can learn a little bit. Also, it didn't slip my mind that this man said a little condescending. Yes. That is the understatement of the century. Yeah, a little condescending. They asked me to be on Pop the Balloon again. And I was like, okay, why not? You know, if I can dish it, I got to be able to take it, right? Oh, I was not ready. I was not ready for the lion's den. That's the best way I can describe it. The best way I can describe it because as soon as I walked out, pop, 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 everybody's popping their balloons. And I'm like, yo, I don't even know who these women are, but they definitely knew me. So you went back on? Yeah. <laughs> He's back. <laughs> Ooh, all right. If we can have your name. That was so fast. <laughs> I was not expecting that. What's your name, sir? Hi, my name is Dr. Elo. Oh my God, he's wearing a suit. Oh, he's shit. wearing a scrub. He's wearing a scrub. Oh my God, no. I, I hate this guy so much. <laughs> my guy. Yo, can you go pop? Can you go buy balloons so we can pop them? <laughs> and Dr. Y'all know Elam, who I am. How old are you? That's not fair. Dr. Elam, how old are you? <laughs> I'm 39. Okay, all right. Now we do see you pointed out Dr. Elam. What kind of doctor are you? What do you do? Yeah, I'm a dentist. So actually, please forgive me for my attire. I had an emergency earlier and I had to rush here, so I didn't have time to change. <laughs> She's not even looking at my face. Okay, so uh, I, I am a traveling dentist. I travel up and down the West Coast, pulling teeth and placing implants for those who need it. Okay, all right. Now, what do you look for in a woman? What I look for in a woman is pretty universal, and I'm not sure if it's been explained this way, but I'm gonna try. There's three things that every man wants, and if you do these three things, you can procure any man that you want. Don't. Let's hear it. Let's see what all us men want. I'm very curious. And this isn't my information that I just came up with. This is actually research-based, and the first thing is being useful. How can you be useful to the person in your life? Why is that important? Because when you are a useful asset to the man that you want to be, then there is no way that he's ever going to want to get rid of you. The second thing is you have to blow his mind in the bedroom. What does that mean? That means you take the wildest, nastiest thing that you've ever done, figure out the wildest, nastiest thing that he's ever done, and exceed that. No, that is not a requirement. No. It seems saying that's a requirement for all men. It's just not true. Like, none of the guys I know who date ever dated the woman who did the freakiest things with them. Rarely. Mm. In fact, sometimes they say, like, the, the freakiest things that some guys have done, they would never want to do with their girls. Mm. Okay? So, uh, the, he just doesn't know what he's yapping about. Let's no. It's the last thing. Then you won't be able to keep your man, and that is respect. Always respect your man. Now, if you have any confusion as to what respect is, say to yourself... Would I say this to the person who is writing my checks? Would I say this to my boss? And if you wouldn't, don't say it to your man. I mean, yeah, but that's anybody. 
like don't like don't say shit to people you love that you're not supposed to say to someone you love. I don't know what it is about that analogy and the way he frames it, but I think it just kind of falls in line with the whole because dynamic every, that he's always every, set up. Every, every dynamic he sets up is boss. I'm up here, you're employee. up here, so you should always talk to me, look up to me, and engage with me like this is the yeah. dynamic. The reason why you have a problem with it is because all these examples were just on a pedestal. Yeah, every single one. Every single him. one of them is in a pedestal. Do you guys Man. believe it's an accident that he came in scrubs? No, no. No, 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 that's cap. And most doctors I know, they have their civilian clothes in their car, and they have their scrubs with them. They can switch in and out very easily. At the same time, when they do this show, you have a lot of time to be backstage to get changed at any point you want. So I don't know why he had to lie about the scrubs. I don't know any doctor who leaves their home in just their scrubs. Generally, they have their civilian clothes and their work clothes. Maybe it's different in the U.S., but... The ones that have scrubs, where I'm from, are not the dentists. Maybe he is, but it's not the dentist. And yeah, they do have a set of clothes, a change of clothes. They have a change of clothes. They don't just, yeah, let me walk out outside uh, with outside air, just inside someone's mouth. Pause. But, you know, no. You would have a change of clothes. That's just what people do. He probably had a change of clothes, but he didn't have time to change, which I don't believe. That's a lie. I don't believe. This show... There's a number of contestants. He's one of the many guys who have to go up. He can go third, fourth. He can get changed at any you point. You got plenty of time. Yeah. He's just lying. He's lying. This dude's lying for no reason. Yeah. My name is Brenda. I'm 36. Okay. The reason why I popped, very good looking man. Well put together. You're in the dentistry world. That's amazing. You, I'm sure your love language is acts of service since you are in the dentistry world. But the way you answer that question. Actually, my love language is physical touch. Oh. And words of affirmation. I, l I see that you like to interrupt. Ah! Yes, my girl! Yes! And you said that so calmly. I love you for that. Yes! The way you said so I, I, yeah, I, think apologize. I apologize. I apologize. It's apologize. best that I did pop that balloon. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Thank you. <laughs> now, is Brenda someone that's your type? You know, I actually don't know enough about her to make a valid decision on that, but I love the dress. You have a gorgeous smile. I love what you've done with your makeup and your hair. You're, you know, awesome. Thank you. Awesome. Thank you. Okay, thank you. Let's go over here. If we can have your name and age. I'm Jador. I'm 31. All right. And Jador, why did you end up popping your balloon? Dr. Elam, it's such a tragedy because you are so handsome. I feel like you are extremely arrogant, and I feel like you're probably going to have a hard time because you seem like the type, like a know-it-all type of guy and sometimes you have to be careful with that because even when you know it all you don't know everything you know so being humble sometimes can be your best friend even if you do know it all even if you're very smart very wise you know but just having a humble attitude you know what i mean you would probably go a lot further and i say that with all the respect in the world <laughs> thank you you're welcome okay. who's your dentist <laughs> who is my dentist not you sweetheart and i'm just gonna leave it right there Yo. She shut that door. These ladies saw that video and they said, I ain't mad. They textbook that one shit. One time for my queens. I ain't mad at it though. Yeah. What how does how how is that re re relevant that my team don't worry about it. Don't worry. It's not you and I wait, let's let's see why he wants to ask. Let's find out. All right, and I'm just gonna leave it right there. Oh, I know. Yeah. I'm not your dentist. Yeah. No, no, he All tried right. no. He, he tried. Oh, he be a he, tried. Hey, he hurt. Remember that therapy he was talking about because you're not taking criticism and you're triggered? That's you! Who needs that therapy? That's you! Who needs that therapy? You need to go back! Dentist Elam, I you, refuse you, to call you doctor. You need to go back! Okay. All right, let's, 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 let's go to our next person here. Your name and age and why you ended up popping. So my name is Brittany. I'm 31. And like she said, you look really good. I like that you do, you're in the denti you're a dentist, but you are given arrogant and it's given toxic too. Like mm -hmm. you're given to, you want to debate all the time. Like you, it's like, you're going to give me a headache. And if you like, she said, if you do know it all, just a little bit better to be humble. Um, so that's it. But you look good. You're handsome, but it's just, it's given toxic and I don't want that. <sighs> And it's also given like this is a joke to you. Mm -hmm. Like you just want to come over here just to say stuff, to get a viral moment. I'm not feeling that. <laughs> Dr. Elam, 
Yeah, I don't even really know what to say with that. I appreciate your perspective. I think that your feelings are valid. And uh, if you are looking for a nuclear relationship, I probably am a red flag for you. So you're probably right on that. I love your honesty. <laughs> Thank you. All right. He looks so mad. Yes. So mad. Yes, he's Mr. being Mr. Mr. Therapy's not liking the fact that he's getting one tenth of the energy he gave all the other yeah. women. So he they're can not, dish it. They're not even. They but not, he can't take no, it. No, they're not even. They're not even giving. Yo, they didn't do you like you did them. They are not doing you what you did. They're keeping it quick, short. They don't want to have anything to do with you. And you can't handle it because you're tall and handsome. And most people, they they don't say no to you. They don't say no to you. But this, this is cooking your insides right there. Bro, they... they you they, being this tall and being this handsome, and you're getting rejected back to back to back to back to back, it hurts your feelings. Yep. You're triggered. Hi, <clears throat> I'm Nova. I'm 30. Um... Yeah, it was uh, just the arrogance for me. I, I love a man that's very confident. Like, you, I'm going to toot your horn every time I get, every chance I get. But um, I think you toot your own horn. So I don't think I would be able to <laughs> accommodate that every day. Like, you're tooting and then I'm trying to uplift. And it would just be a roller coaster ride, like, all the time. Like, I feel like I like my space. I like quiet. I like, I feel like every day will be something, um, not negative, but just, the energy would just be very high for me. Like, it sounds like self-love is something that's challenging for you. Self-love? What the fuck does that have to do with I'll be with honest with you. Thing, he bro. said one thing to the other girl. He said, oh, your feelings are valid. And like after she like just finished charbroiling char him. And I noticed that people that use a lot of this psych language, your feelings are valid. Yeah. You know, uh, mental health is mental wealth. And You don't trust these um, motherfuckers? It sounds like you just struggle with self-love. Mm -hmm. And I was like, just, just filter out ninety five percent of the shit they say, cause it's just a bunch of hogwash bullshit that they read up on a TikTok page and then they just repeating that shit. Oh no, baby, I'm sorry. Cause uh, if you loved yourself, then you wouldn't have any problem loving me. Oh, I, I love myself a lot, and I, I want to be able to love someone uh, as much as I love myself. But I feel like you love yourself so much that there wouldn't be any room for me to love you. <laughs> That sounded good, but it also didn't make very much sense. She's cooking. It's That's because fine. love isn't a container. Love yeah, is something that you are. So yeah. I love myself. I've worked on myself, and I understand the tools that it takes to practice self-love. Okay. And so space and time isn't really an objective field that you need to use as a barometer to see if it's possible if we can love each other. It's either you love yourself, and you can share that, or you're uncomfortable with it. And so I feel that you're also uncomfortable with me loving myself as much as no, I do. No, 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 no. And it's I'm coming off as arrogance. Oh, I'm arrogant? No, I said it's coming off as arrogance. Oh, you're coming off. Yeah, you, you do. Um, so my confidence is triggering you because no, it's reminding you. I love See, he's still trying to set up this I'm above you, I'm doing better than you yeah. in this dynamic. The first three ladies, he got shook, and then now he shook it up. Now he's, he's trying back, to go back to his, like, to his, yeah, this is his self-defense mechanism. Yep, 100%. Yeah. And look, everyone's got different ones. Some people, when they get rejected, they get quiet, which some self-defense mechanisms are fine because they're not retaliatory, right? Some people, me personally, like when I get rejected, what's my response? My self-defense mechanism is just like, okay. No, that's, and I pull that, the plug. That's you. Right? <laughs> the reason why is because like, I'm not going to feed energy to this so this can get drawn out. I'm trying to make this wrap up. Me, a girl tells me, Ab, I don't want to see you again. I'll be like, if it's a if it's a valuable relationship, I'll try to inquire as to why and figure it out. Yeah. But after it's been made clear, I'm like, deuces. I'm not going to drag this shit out so I got to suffer this bullshit. But some people want to sit there and argue and their form of self-defense self, self -defense is denial. But other people, it's argumentative and trying to raise their self-esteem by lowering the other people. Everyone got a different thing, but if yours is very offensive oriented, it's a bad self defense mechanism. But, but you hurt me, so I'm gonna hurt you. But that, way, those ones are the ones you the, want to avoid. The way you deal with that shit sometimes, a rejection or whatever, is what triggers even more people. I never want to see it again. All right, you're just gonna leave like that. <laughs> the reason why well, yeah. is because for some people, when they reject you, uh -huh. what they're trying to do uh -huh. is they be up here and you're down here. But when you just go, okay, then they're like, well, well the person down here should be devastated no. that the person up there's here doesn't no, want them. There's no more levels. That's it. So all their repair, yeah. they're all lost. Exactly. They, they can't. It's not even this. It's not even this. It's not that. Is They don't know. Yeah. I was one-upping you when I said... I never want to see you again. Yeah. But then you went, okay. Yeah. 
Fuck. What? It? You gotta just walk away. I'm walking away from the troubles in my life. I'm, I'm walking, walking away. away. It's not about you not having self-love. It's about you not appreciating the self-love. And Shut up. All right, I'm skipping through this, bro. This ain't, Shut this up. Are you dragging it? Pop y'all's balloon before you even got to know Dr. Elon. What a shame. What a shame. Uh, is it, though? I don't, yeah. Um, you'll find your... Your you people? said you watched the show before you got here, which means you have a preconceived indoctrination of who you think I am. No, it's not a preconceived indoctrination, it's buddy. It's just evidence. He's pissed. That's like me finding out that you murdered somebody on camera and I could see it more myself, and then I'm vigilant around you right afterwards. That's a normal human behavior. So you popped your balloon before you even got to know me based on what Can you've already question? seen, please. Why do you want to argue with me? Hey! Yes! My girl. Yes! That's what I'm saying. My girl is on point. Why you want to argue if with you me? Are man, I am done with this. If you a man, be stoic. Accept your losses. Celebrate your victories. Move the fuck on. I will never understand people who sit here and argue with someone you just met. Y'all weird. That's the same thing that people in casinos losing all their money do. Oh, I'm a, I'm a do. I, 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 oh, we're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna remake that money. We're gonna let's go. That's, that's what you're doing. But we, we're arguments. I'm not arguing with you. I'm using an inflection that is emphasizing my point. You thinking that I'm arguing is a direct trigger that you can't handle what I'm saying to you. Okay, love bug. Um, yeah. I've been here and done that. I, yeah, okay, yeah, let's, let's, let's do it. Let's, okay. let's see what's next. All right, if we can have your name and age and why you ended up popping. <laughs> my name is Tatiana. Um, who okay respectfully where do i begin my guy you got a lot of dip on your chip and i feel like the way that you coming at everybody else with like oh who's your dentist and everything you finna ask me who my dentist is and i'm not i'm not i'm not with that just yet i'm not i'm not ready for that I know it's I also <laughs> let me finish real quick respectfully i'm please, sorry please, you know because you interrupt everybody else let me speak real quick what you gonna say about my tooth bro why would i want a dominant woman when Next. i'm the dominant one go ahead that can't be you know can i ask you a question go ahead What's do up? you think you're the prize i know i'm the prize you're the prize to the men you don't want. Okay. When you get a man that you actually want, please believe me, we're the prize. Bro, I, I, I can never get over grown adults in their 30s yeah. literally uttering the words, man or woman, Sir. I'm the prize. Sir. I see anybody, any gender say that shit unironically, and I'm like, bitch, you are bugging. I'm sorry to interrupt you right there. Don't interrupt the prize. Let me finish. But you said, if I see someone in their 30s, I'm sorry. When you're 38, you're 40, okay? Yeah. Let's be, let's, you're no longer in your 30s, yes. okay? Yeah. Like, how long, and some people out there is like, yo, I feel like Preach has been saying he's 40 for the past five years. Yeah. From 35 to 39, I was saying I was pushing 40. And then 39 happened, I said next year I'm 40. I thought you were going say 50. <laughs> Oh, no, I'm 42 now. Okay, gotcha. So now I'm 55. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Next year, 55. Gotcha. I, <laughs> I understand the math. When I'm going to be 55? Uh -huh. Dead. All right, let's go. Okay. <laughs> gotcha. Okay, so that is all the balloons popped. We weren't able to find you a match today, but let's go ahead and give it up for them, ladies. <laughs> I'll take the mic. <laughs> Fuck out of here. Because they are actually have different versions of how I was feeling right after the show. Livid. Livid. My community, I'm telling you, I was livid because they basically suppressed my wants and they made it about them. I felt unseen. I felt used. I felt objectified. I'm done with Pop the Balloon. I'm done with Pop the Balloon. You know, I had, I was able to express myself in some ways, but trust me, guys, they edited out so, so much. I have a behind the scenes video that I'm going to share with you guys in the next video because I want you guys to know that I'm done with Pop the Balloon and... It's not even worth it for me anymore. The editor would, because you talk too much. Because you you keep on going back and forth in, in, in the cul-de-sac of a conversation. You spent 15 minutes yapping on with these girls, which is a little bit longer than the average contestant on Pop the Balloon. Mm. Bro, it's not your show. It's, it's a show. bunch of other people there, too. This guy's crazy arrogant. There's no way this man's done the therapy and the work. Why you live it? Why, you felt objectified, you felt used. How do you think all the women who interacted with you on that first show felt? Yes. When they went up to you and you were basically using them as a soundboard for all the bullshit you got going on in your head. Shut the f*** up. Shut the f*** up.
Yeah, Bro, if I ever saw a woman lecturing a dude like that, tell her to take a f***ing hike, you get the same treatment, stupid. Luckily, the next day, I was able to meet with my mother. And for those of you who don't know, me and my mom have a good relationship now, but it's been tumultuous, but it's taken a lot of work. And I'm so proud of her for her openness and I'm proud of myself for being forgiving. And oh my God, even with his f***ing mom, this dude got this dynamic. Holy shit. I'm so proud of her for her openness and her improvement. And I'm so proud of me for forgiving her. Oh my God, every relationship is the same with this. Yeah, everybody has to do the work, not him. Yo, this dude is disgusting loving and just holding myself to a beautiful standard because i was able to be honest with her you know my mom she's a good christian woman but i told her you know i don't want children and i want my two girlfriends and i want us to be a team and i want us to travel and <laughs> i'm done i'm so done i'm so done i'm so done I, I knew this nigga was on bullshit bro he wanted them red pill dorks what the he one of them red pill dorks. I should have fucking known, bro. <laughs> oh, shut that shit off. Hey, man. We're done. We're done. I ain't got nothing uh, else to say. Uh, he had to know shut that. that shit off.